Hey guys, this is Bijan from Ori Dog Training here in West Palm Beach. I just ordered a bunch of place cuts from Four Legs for Pets and I figured this is a good opportunity for me to show you guys how to put them together. Is your dog chewing up your house, dragging you down the street and jumping on you and all of your guests? Or do you just want your dog to come when called and listen to basic commands? I've put together a comprehensive online dog training program to help dog owners just like you. Gain control and transform your dog from rowdy to obedient without confusion while being coached by a professional through the process. To learn more, visit oradogtraining.com slash learn. This is a 40 by 30 cot that I'm using. So I have my two long pieces, my two shorter pieces. I always use some uh, rubber feet for the legs just so um, the cot doesn't slide around on a flat, uh, on a slippery surface. If you have tile or hardwood floors at home, I always recommend to use those rubber feet that you can add extra to your order. So first we start just by putting in the longer pieces in the sides. And then um, when we put these in, just slide them right in. I put one of the shorter pieces on the end here. And as you can tell, there's like one flap where we are tightening the cot. So I'm not going to put anything in there right now. So we're putting the feet in. When I put the feet in, I usually end up putting it in one side first, putting the other side in, sliding it right in here. And it's a very nice cot. It's very easy to put together. You don't need any tools for it. You can just like slide and stick it all together. All right, there we go. Boom, so now we have the bottom side done. Now we're going to do the top side. I'll put the feet in first. And then from here, put the top part in. Make sure it's all the way inside. Stick it all the way in, perfect. Now, I put it on the short piece first. So now I have to, because we have to create some tension here, I'm gonna pick up the long side and I'm just gonna slide it right in here. Boom, that's it. So now once we have this all together, I usually use, like if you have like a, like a rug in your house or if you have something with a rubber surface, I'll just hit the cut a couple times to help slide the fabric down. Once the fabric is nice and tight here, you can uh, pull over the flap on the other end. Now, when you are sliding the string through, I slide the string in through the top first. Slide it through every time. Always when we slide it through, we always want to slide it through from the top. This way, when we pull on it, it helps tighten the fabric right here. Slide it in through the top. Make sure you don't get tangled here. This way, keep it nice and tight. Hold, if you can, the tension on the on the cot, so this way we're not losing any of our hard work. Slide it through. Pull, keep it nice and tight. Well, to show you guys to do it, I'm doing this on the table. Otherwise, I would just like lean the bottom part against something so I have a little bit more leverage. So you can do that on the ground. You don't have to do that standing up like me right now. So you can see how we're tightening this right here. 
slide it through right here. Now in the last hole, what I do, I slide it right here, right through. And then I want to create a little knot from here. Just slide it right through here. So we keep a knot right here. And then usually what I do, I just slide it a little further down right here, make it tight so I don't have all this excess string and then make another knot right here. So this way we know this is not going to come undone. Let me put our dogs on it. Now last thing, use the rubbers, put them right on top of the feet. If you have multiple cots at home, you can stack them on top of each other. If you are of only one cot, you can actually purchase some covers for the holes right here. So now you see we have the feet on there. So this way the cot doesn't slide around. The cots are very nice. They're breathable. They're easy to wash, easy to clean. And yes, that's how you put it together. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos and you enjoy the content that I'm sharing with you guys, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram, like me on Facebook, and please always remember, comment, like, and share, and I'll produce more. Thank you. Mm -hmm.